I, uh, I have a friend, uh, let's call her Jane, and for a project that I was working on, I asked Jane to write a letter to her dad about the role that her dad had played in her life over time. Now Jane wrote the letter, and she had an okay relationship with her dad, it was fine, until she gave him the letter for Christmas. And then it was actually great. So your dad was able to hold in his hands a letter from his daughter, very heartwarming, very touching, about the role that he's played in her life over time. They cried a little, laughed a little, talked a little, and then three weeks later, he felt compelled to write her a letter back. And now, a whole new world is open to the two of them. When you see this number on the screen, what do you think of? Some of you might think of the 1%, the richest in the US. That's fair, that gets talked about an awful lot. Um, some of you might have thought this was your chance to get in here tonight, so good to see everybody that's here. But what I want you to do is think about this number a little bit differently from now on. 1% of your day is 15 minutes of your time. And in those 15 minutes, you have the chance to change a life forever. How? Through the power of the letter. Now, think about letters for a moment in your own life. When was the last time that you sent one? When was the last time that you received one? What were any of the emotions that went along with any of those? If we're looking for positive disruption, play this out in your head for a minute. Imagine you go home tonight and you open up your mailbox. And as you're sorting through the mail from your mailbox, you get to the fifth piece of mail. And that fifth piece of mail is not the fifth bill, it's not the fifth catalog, but it's actually a handwritten letter from a friend of yours that you haven't seen or heard from in years. What does that feel like? Do you open that handwritten letter first or do you open the bills and the catalogs first? See, email and text messaging over time have distilled letter writing, but what neither of those can replace is the raw emotion that comes with holding a letter in your hands addressed to you. Now let me go back to Jane and her dad for a second. If Jane had taken that letter and sent it via email, would it have had the same effect? So what I want to introduce to you now is a new equation. 1 equals 15 equals forever. 1% of your day equals 15% of your time equals a life changed forever. Now, who can you write to? Write a letter to your spouse. Write a thank you note to a teacher. And write a letter to your family members or parents. And the one thing I want you to remember with any of these, when you're writing those letters or any others, is that it's not about length, it's not about presentation or any other aesthetic. It's about the raw emotion that can be conveyed in the letter format that can't get there any other way. So whether you're the CEO of a company who's reading a letter from a consumer about the impact that that company has had on that consumer, or whether you're the teacher who gets a thank you note from a student or a parent, no one is immune to the power of the letter. Now, what if you can't think of somebody to write to? What if you're just stuck? Well, that's okay. You can write a letter to yourself. A good letter to yourself can act like a mirror. And sometimes the reflective quality of that letter is actually even a little bit better. Now, one of the best things about this, the best part about all of this, is that every single person in this room can go home and do this now. You don't have to wait. Not weeks, months, or years from now, but you can do it right now. You have the pen, you have the paper, and my guess is, my hope is, that most of you through the last three minutes have thought about somebody that you'd like to write one to. You can do it now. If positive disruption is what we're looking for, if we're looking to interrupt a little bit the fast-paced world that we lived in, then maybe the power of the letter is just what the doctor ordered. Thank you.